Hello everyone and welcome back to the Critter Corner. If you didn't know, the only thing that I love more than reptiles are arthropods, more specifically crustaceans. Now this video is going to be ranking my top five arthropods with some really cool footage I got to film at different zoos and everything around the country. Although most things on this list are crustaceans, some of them don't classify as crustaceans and they're under the arthropod colony, which is why this video will be top five arthropods, but most of them are crustaceans. Before we get into this, I wanted to do a little honorable mention while also unboxing something very exciting. Okay, so I have my package right here. This is a fossil that I'm so excited about. It, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So this is from Etsy. I've been really into bones and fossils lately. And when I was looking on Etsy, Etsy is like the main place I look for stuff. I saw that these were 50% off and I couldn't be more excited. So in this, is a very exciting fossil. Let me get my scissors. Okay, in this package. Oh my goodness. So this right here is a trilobite fossil. So I was looking at fossils and these were 50% off and I was like, what better time to order a trilobite? than the present. This is like my first like really cool fossil that I've gotten. I would love to like collect more fossils. Oh my goodness, isn't that so cool? It's so cool. So all the lights in the reptile room just turned off, but look at it, oh my goodness. So yeah, this is, I ordered this because I was, I was just so excited it was on sale. I was like, I need to get it right now. But speaking of trilobites, Let's get in to the rest of the video. Now, in addition to the fossil, I was recently traveling in the UK and I went to the University of Oxford Natural History Museum, which was super cool. But what they had there was this. And this is a trilobite stuffed animal. Awesome, awesome. So now I have my fossil and my stuffed animal. And I will just be collecting trilobite everything forever because they are the best creatures to literally ever exist. Now at number five, this is something probably a lot of people have experience with. We have the crawfish or crayfish. I say crawfish, some people say crayfish, depends where you're from. But if you didn't know, there's so many different kinds of crayfish. And I went to the Baltimore Aquarium recently and got to see these guys. These little guys are yabby. Now yabby are a kind of crawfish native to Australia. There are so many different kinds of crawfish. I thought these guys were cool because they're blue and they're just so pretty. My favorite thing about crawfish is they're just tiny little lobsters and they're so common. You can find them in little creeks in your backyard. If you're on a hike, they're just so cool. I mean, they're little lobsters, like nothing gets better than that. And I just love that you can find them pretty much anywhere. Now at number four on the list, we have the hermit crab. Now you might be thinking, Hermit crabs are not that cool. First of all, you're wrong. Second of all, the biggest arthropod in the world is a hermit crab. Although I love pet hermit crabs that you can find at pretty much any pet store, one of my favorite arthropods of all time is the coconut crab. Coconut crabs are actually a species, a kind of hermit crab. The coolest thing to me about coconut crabs is they are so big, they don't need to go find shells. Usually hermit crabs will have to go search for shells from snails that have died. But coconut crabs, they only use shells if they're younger. When they get big enough, they don't need shells. And they have these massive claws. They can crack open coconuts. They're very strong. They are incredible climbers. Other hermit crabs are also great climbers, but coconut crabs are just another breed of awesome. They are so cool one day i'm going to travel to california and go see them in a zoo because it's literally a dream of mine to go meet a coconut crab but i think just because hermit crabs first of all are adorable they have their shells they go hide in their shells and it's pretty good protection for them coconut crabs are just insane they are such like badass creatures and i'm obsessed with them they're so cool so 
that is why hermit crabs are at number four. At number three, this is why this couldn't be a crustacean list because horseshoe crabs, our number three contestant, are actually not crustaceans. They are considered arthropods, but they're more closely related to spiders than they are like a lobster. But horseshoe crabs, also, you can find them a lot of places in the U.S. And I think they're one of the coolest things ever. I, every chance I get to touch a horseshoe crab, I will. I've seen them at aquarium encounters in the Florida Keys. I've seen them at the National Aquarium. I just love me a horseshoe crab. Love, 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 love horseshoe crabs. And I just think they're so cool. The way that like their shells, like their armor, it looks, it just looks so cool. They look so tough. Their little legs, I love anything with those little legs. Isopods have like similar legs. They're just so cool. They like kind of fold up. They just scurry on the ground. Like everything about them, I just think they're such like beautiful creatures. And they're also like underwater, which is also super cool. So yeah, horseshoe crabs also pretty common, but they are prehistoric. They date back to the Ordovician period, which was over 400 million years ago. Anything that has like evolved for 400 million years is like so impressive to me. I love a good prehistoric thing. Um, trilobites, like I talked about earlier, horseshoe crabs give me similar vibes. I just love them. They're so cool. And I'm always going to be looking for them at aquariums whenever I'm at an aquarium. I gotta go find the horseshoe crabs. They also have them at the National Zoo. They have horseshoe crabs everywhere on beaches too. If you go to a beach, you probably find a horseshoe crab. So definitely next time you find one, if you can flip it over because they have the coolest little legs and they're just so awesome. So horseshoe crabs, number three. At number two, we have also one of the coolest creatures to ever exist. I know I'm saying all these are cool, but like crustaceans, arthropods are my biggest passion ever. I'm obsessed with all of them. Number two, we have the mantis shrimp. Now, the mantis shrimp is actually at the National Aquarium, but they are such good hiders. I could see his eyes and I couldn't get a good video of him. So I'm going to be putting footage from a different YouTube channel. I'll put credits and everything in the corner. But mantis shrimp have such beautiful colors. There's different kinds. I think this one is called a peacock mantis shrimp because it has like rainbow colors. But they're so cool. I can't believe a creature like this exists. They punch. Like, they will punch their prey, knocks them out pretty much immediately. They can break glass with their punches. They are such strong little creatures. They're small. And it's so impressive, their abilities and everything. They And their colors, they're gorgeous. They're, like, mind-blowing to me that something this beautiful and this powerful exists. Now, mantis shrimp are not actually shrimp. They are a type of stomatopod. And they are also around 400 million years old. So these, that's what I think is so cool about crustaceans. They are like, you you can't kill them. I mean, you can kill them, but like they stick around for a long time. Uh, the lifespan of one of these and a lot of crustaceans is around 20 years. But the fact that this species has been around for 400 million years, like who does that? Who does that other than crustaceans? Like that's so cool. We are now at number one. If you know me and you know my channel, you might have saw this coming, but at number one, of course, we have the isopod. Isopods are probably my favorite animal to ever exist. I keep 17 colonies of them. I traveled 20 hours. I drove 20 hours to go meet marine isopods. But by the way, it was 20 hours there and 20 hours back. So a total 40 hours in the car to meet marine isopods. I'm gonna insert footage here. I have other videos about this, but isopods also super duper old. They are so diverse. There's land isopods, there's sea isopods. There, some of them are really small, some of them are really big. And they are so cool. Now, like a lot of crustaceans, they have a hard exoskeleton, but isopods, they don't need shells like hermit crabs and they are so hardy. And their legs are like horseshoe crabs, they have little legs. Isopods are just a mix of my favorite thing from each of the arthropods I've listed so far. Put all those into an isopod and you have the perfect arthropod. Now, 
isopods are like scavengers they're not hunters they don't have super cool like fighting hunting abilities but i mean look at them they're adorable and the diversity in isopods is my favorite thing you can get them looking like rubber duckies i'm not even kidding they look like rubber ducks insane you can have these beautiful colors on them some of them are adapted to look like poisonous or like venomous millipede type things so predators won't eat them some of them are huge some of them are really small isopods just have so much to offer so much to offer and the biggest thing for me is they're so sweet they're not hunters they're not gonna bite you they're not gonna hurt you they are just there for the vibes to exist and they bring me so much happiness can't even explain and they eat poop they're cleanup crew in all my reptile enclosures. They eat poop, they eat rotting leaves, they eat excess food. They're like your own little compost. They are the most perfect creature on the entire planet. So, I hope you enjoyed my list of top five arthropods. Obviously, this list is all my opinion. This isn't like the ultimate list. I, I'm not a scientist, but I have a deep deep love for crustaceans and arthropods so these are my favorite and why uh let me know if you expected isopods to be number one and comment below how you would rank them if you put any others on this top five list let me know and i hope you enjoyed this video i will see you all in the next one bye <laughs>